Hey, hey, once again, this is Hashim Whitmore will be the world's greatest barber.com. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for checking me out. Uh, subscribing to all my videos. I really appreciate it. Especially all the ones that's been adding me on YouTube uh, and, and uh, Instagram, Facebook. I really appreciate it. So, uh, this is a two-part video, actually. One part is... Uh, what is called the psychology of good clothes. And I encourage everybody to try this if you're, uh, um, you know, when you get a chance to get you uh, a nice shirt, a nice pair of jeans, you know, some nice, uh, some nice shoes, um, just to start putting together um, your wardrobe. I'm telling you, it changes a lot when you start dressing a little bit. Uh, more, uh, it could be for some, it's more professional, for some, it's uh, more casual wear, but just on a, on a higher level, depending on wherever your style and how you cut hair, how you get down, and, and just how you carry yourself. Everybody's an individual, but um, good clothes, new clothes, a good feel um, makes you feel better about yourself. It's, and it, it seems like when you have. Um, uh, new clothes, a new shirt, that opportunities start just coming to you because you start actually looking like, you know, you know, you're, you're wet, uh, you're ready for them. You know, I had a, I had an uncle that, uh, uh, always would wear suits. All right. And, uh, I, I asked him uh, about it one time. He said, uh, because, you know, he said, you dress where you want to be, not necessarily where you're at. So, uh, if money is the issue, and sometimes when you're starting off in uh, in this industry, uh, money can be one, depending on your background. But um, there's all different types of stores. Check out your Rosses, check out your Marshalls, check out um, your outlet stores, um, things like that. You know, and start putting together your whole wardrobe and ensemble. That being said. A uh, young man came into the shop the other day, had a job interview that he was going to. And uh, he was sharp, had his, had his uh, button-down shirt, slacks on, but he did not know how to tie a tie. And I thought back about it, and I said, you know what? A lot of people don't know how to tie a tie. I mean, shit. I didn't, you know, I didn't have a father that uh, taught me how to tie a tie. Uh, you know, my grandfather was actually had to had to show me the show me the way. So I'm very thankful I have him. But let me uh, show you just a quick uh, couple tie ways to tie the tie. All right. So you get you get you a tie. I say years ago, let one side hang down to maybe that um, third button, second button, depending on the style. For this style, it's just going to be a quick. It's a quick one. You take the fat in. Go around once, pinch it, pinch it in the middle, so you made a full, full loop around, pull that through the back side, right there like that, take the top, now you have it, and slip it right through the front, you can see right here. That front little pocket, hold it, and pull down, boom, you got a tie. Slide that up. Bring that down, you're ready to go. So, that's that's a that's a quick that's a quick knot, a little quick uh, little uh, square knot. Second type. Sometimes you see this on ESPN and some of those athletes that are doing with these big uh, these big kind of fat knots, real diamond shaped knots. What you want to do? You want to choke up on the tie so this the short part is a uh, even shorter. Take it up. Uh, one, maybe one more button. What you're gonna do, you're gonna come around once, 
You're gonna hold right here, uh, hold in the center, and then you're gonna pull through and let that hang down to the right side. That's gonna let that drop and come behind it and do the same again on the other side. So now you have like a little upside down triangle shape. From there, something flew in my eye. There you go. You bring that around and and once you bring that around, just like that, you bring that to the middle, boom. Hold that in the center as you pull that through. You got your big, fat knot and you're ready to go. Now, if you have a really short tie, it might be a little bit more challenging, all right? But when you have a short tie, you make you want a big knot like that. That's when you usually keep your jacket closed so nobody, so nobody can see that part anyway. But the idea is to have that tie rest right here on your waist, you know, so or where your belt buckle is. So that's where you that's where you would like it to fall. So hopefully this video helped you guys and um, congratulations. I'm gonna say it in advance. Hope this young man gets that job. I always feel that, you know, when I, when I give you a cut, man, you can't help but to get it, man, you know. So I'm um, proud of you and keep on going. If you guys have any questions, this is Hashim Whitmore, the Uncut Barber. I'm here in your corner, trying to give you all the game that I have. So it makes you more successful and enjoy this career and just enjoy life. So take care. Get you guys, uh, get yourself something new and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.